anytime there's a transition in coaching, you're going to rely heavily on your on your captains to to lead the way. Um, we had a large senior class this year, um, seven players. So Tim Linden was the leader of his class. Um, he was chosen as captain because he's he's very cerebral. He puts thought into his decision making. Um, he's a quality player. He does. He generally just makes good decisions. Um, so I was very happy with Tim in his senior year. Um, led the team well. He was he was thoughtful and respectful of his teammates and helped create a, a stronger culture for the team going forward. Um, in terms of Scotty Prozeller, he was elected captain between his sophomore and his junior year, which is rare. And I think it speaks to his leadership qualities as an individual. He's a, he's a special leader. Um, on the field as well um, was potentially where he made most of his contributions. Um, you know, as a captain, that doesn't necessarily mean you're an on-field leader, but Scotty was both for us this year. There's always a learning curve in your first year as an individual, so um, I thought early on, midway through the season, it became apparent that um, that Michael Inachinzi was an attacking attacking force for us. Um, he's very good running at defenders. He's very strong. He's fast. Um, he really knows how to put defenders off balance when he's on the ball. Really a head-down player, yes sir, no sir. He's just a fun player to coach. Not only is Hiroki a, a strong player and will be a strong player in years to come, um, Hiroki's a true personality. He was his positive personality was contagious among the team. And I think the the team, the seniors, the juniors, the freshmen, the sophomores, they just enjoyed having him around. Tim Schmoll was among the very I thought by the end of the season was among the most dangerous players on the field every single game. You know, we wanted to temper the the freshmen's roles a little bit this year. We didn't want to just throw them into the fire, but at some point in the season we needed production. Um, we asked for it from the freshmen and they were able to do it. Um, so I couldn't be more pleased with them. Austin, when you're recruiting and you're looking for well-rounded student athletes with a real passion for the game, he's exactly what you hope for. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll always have a lot of time for Austin as a player and as a person. Um, I think he's he came into this program in a time when we needed a goalkeeper to help us become a special team, and he did. And he also then was the backbone of a defense that didn't have as much success. But all through the while, he gave a consistent performance and was as committed as ever um, all four years. So can't speak highly enough about Austin. The play of Ross Friedman from right defender. Um, in my opinion, Ross Friedman was one of our he was one of our two most consistent players all year. Um, and playing right back to get as many assists as he did um, was incredible. So I think Ross will be, Ross is a player with endless potential right now. Um, the play of AJ Aga coming off of injury halfway through the season to then become a goal scoring contributor. Um, it's no coincidence that him and Ross are roommates. I think so much of it is chemistry and what they do off the field leads to success on the field. And those two really have made a commitment to being strong players and being committed to the team and doing things well. I can't speak highly enough about what I think the future of this program holds. Um, obviously, we would have liked to have seen stronger, better results this year, but you can't always measure a team by the results. You measure a team by progress, by performance, by who's playing well. And, and I feel like the future is very bright for this program.